Well, welcome to our latest edition of Thornton Now. It is, feels like it's been forever since we got to talk with everybody. And so, you know, in our new normal, we have to wear our masks to be together. So in order to have this great conversation, we're gonna actually gonna take a step apart and take our masks off. That's a little bit better. So I'd like to introduce Lisa Rinaldi. She is running our new Active Adult Center. And we're here today to talk about this amazing facility and all the great things that we're looking forward to being able to use. Yes, welcome. Happy to give you a tour of this beautiful facility. We just completed it, so um, we're getting ready to have some tours starting on Monday, August 3rd. So if you're interested in a tour, you can call our front desk and they'll be happy to schedule a tour with you. Phone number is 303-255-7850. All right, shall we walk? Definitely. Okay. This building is about 26,000 square feet. It's all on one level which makes it very accessible to our population. And it is LEED certified. And what that means is it's energy efficient. That's another great feature. This is our lobby and our front desk. This is where you'll start when you come into our center. We'll assist you with whatever it is that you're here to do. We also have this beautiful lobby over here that you can take time to sit and look out and enjoy the view. And we can see Margaret Carpenter and we can see the tennis courts and the fields and we can look over the city. It's just absolutely beautiful. It is and we can go out and take a walk and use the trails in the park and it's really nice to be on a campus that's designed for all ages. So we fit here. <laughs> so tell me about this room. Yes, this is a beautiful new fitness center. We have a lot of equipment in here for all levels of exercise and fitness. We have a lot of treadmills. We have a side fit, which is for folks that maybe can just use their hands for exercise. We have bikes, and then we just have this gorgeous space. And uh, it's just gonna be a fun place to work out. And I love the light in here. It makes everything feel bigger. I know, it's, the architecture is really lovely. So I love the leaves all over the, the facility. When we walked in, there's an, a beautiful entryway, but that theme seems to come all the way through the building. Yeah, it really was the boards, kind of their vision about wanting the outdoors to be inside and for it to have a real natural feel to it. And so we kind of repeat this leaf pattern throughout the building. So tell us a little bit about this arts room. I know one of the things we love our seniors to be able to do is gather and create things together. Mm -hmm. So this looks like an amazing new space. Yeah, this is really nice. Um, we're going to have our pottery, ceramics, our wood carving, and then any other kind of art class that might be suitable for this space. Um, we actually have a beautiful new kiln room that is um, separated for our pottery and our ceramics. So what's wow. nice about this is all the heat stays inside this room and keeps our art room nice and cool. I don't know, I'm a little jealous. <laughs> <laughs> what is a wellness lobby? So our wellness lobby has got two massage rooms. We also can do acupuncture, health clinic, where we do blood pressure. We're doing a lot of foot care, podiatry care. And so these rooms will be used for that. And it looks like we have a teaching kitchen as well. We sure do. So this is a unique feature in our recreation amenities. We don't have a teaching kitchen in any of our facilities. This is just gonna be a standout room for all kinds of cooking classes. We can get together with kids and grandmas and bake cupcakes. We can also do a lot of wellness classes in here, teach people about healthy eating, and we're just really excited to have this amenity in the city. What an incredible dance studio. What kind of classes are gonna be taking place in here? Yeah, so this room is really nice. We can keep it open as one full space or divide it into two rooms. All of our silver sneakers classes will be here. Tai Chi, yoga, line dance, it'll be busy. 
This events hall is fantastic. It's so open and engaging. I can't wait for people to be able to use it. Yeah, it's beautiful. This is where we'll have all of our meals and all of our special events. And then of course this facility is really gonna be nice for rentals. I know we'll get a lot of rentals in here as well. We have a nice platform, raised platform, so you can see our entertainers. And behind that divider is another classroom. You can fit about 260 in here at tables and close to 300 with just chairs. Let's check out this amazing commercial kitchen. I think this is about two times the size of our old kitchen, but this is where we'll be preparing all our meals for the meal program. We just have a lot of nice space. It was designed to be much more open so our patrons will come through this door, come down this service line and get their meal. And I love that the tree theme continues even in the kitchen. What do we have out here? So this is our culinary garden. So we're gonna be growing herbs and tomatoes and vegetables for our meal program. So these can be cooked in the kitchen we just yes, saw. Yes, yes. And then for some of our cooking classes, they can also use fresh herbs. So we're just at the beginning stages, but we're gonna have a lot more next summer. This is our beautiful lounge. In our old facility, we did not have any kind of lobby or lounge. So this is a place for folks to gather and visit when we're able. And uh, we have a lovely fireplace, plenty of seating. And this is also serving as our library. So we have a lovely space here that when we're able to come back together, we'll have a lot of time to have coffee and have conversations together. You know, this is such an amazing space. and I know we can't wait to open it. We just wanna make sure everything is safe and that the public is able to use it in a way that makes sense for everybody. And so what are we doing in the meantime to let people enjoy it even when they can't be here all the time? Yeah, so we are, we're starting tours on Monday, August 3rd. So we're doing three tours a day by appointment. So we'll, we'll let people see the facility and get them excited. And then as things get safer, we'll just keep adding more programming. But we are currently doing a lot on Zoom. We have a very active group that are, is doing fitness classes on Zoom. So we're kind of keeping that online piece going as well. That's wonderful. We have this amazing gathering space and we're so excited to be able to use it in the near future. And thank you, Lisa, for showing us around so much. This sure. is a fabulous activity space. Yes, it's been my pleasure. And I know when folks are able to come back, they'll love this space. They'll enjoy having coffee and just visiting with their friends. So thank you, Mayor. And thank you for joining us on this latest episode of Thornton Now. And we're gonna go to a quick break. Wouldn't it be great if you had a way to let Thornton know when a pothole suddenly appears? Or when other issues in the city need attention? Like a street light going out, or some broken concrete on a sidewalk. Now there is. It's an app for your mobile phone called My Thornton. Just tap the app and you can report dozens of issues directly to Thornton staff. You can also get updates on the issue as it gets resolved. Thornton information is literally just a tap away with the new My Thornton app. City information, news, restaurants, and more are all at your fingertips. Just visit the App Store for your Android or iPhone and search for Thornton. There you will find the My Thornton app. Download and install the app and you are ready to find information about city events, shopping, news, and you can communicate with City Hall about issues 24-7. Just tap the app. Welcome back to Thornton Now. We're here today with Jalen Stotler, our Manager of Community Connections. So we have this amazing new Active Adult Center, but on top of that we have some amazing new programs. Can you tell us about some of them? Yeah, absolutely. So Community Connection staff have entered the former Active Adult Center at 9471 Dorothy Boulevard, and our bilingual staff are available to serve our community in need. We've fallen on really tough times with COVID and we're struggling to pay our mortgages, our rents, our utility bills, our bills in general. Some of us are even struggling to put food on the table. So our bilingual staff are operating out of that facility. We're able to serve folks in person by appointment with physical distancing and mask wearing, of course. We're also available to serve by phone and email uh, to really help people through these tough times. That's amazing. I know that the work that you guys are doing 
is something that's relatively new to the city, but it's so important. And I know, especially during COVID, it, it, with the CARES funding, we've been able to help so many more people. Yes, the CARES funding have brought so much opportunity to our community. And there are a few programs that I'd really like to highlight. One is a partnership with Senior Hub. It's called Market Nights. And anybody who is a Thornton resident, they don't have to be a senior, can attend market nights, even though Senior Hub is our partner. They are making those available to anybody. This is also a partnership with District 12. They're letting us use their parking lot at Thornton High School. So on Tuesdays between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m., anybody who has a need can share their Thornton ID and get a carload of fresh produce, baked goods, uh, during market night. We also, Tuesday during the day, have our farmers markets, and those are happening on, on Tuesdays, it's at Anything Huron Street, and on Thursdays, it's at Anything Wright Farms, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. These fresh farmers markets are available to anyone as well. If somebody is receiving SNAP benefits, the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or Women, Infants, and Children WIC benefits, they get a $25 voucher. And seniors also qualify for that $25 voucher. So it really goes a long way in, in helping to get those fresh foods into the bellies of people who need them. And I love that you're living up to the name of Community Connections because you mentioned all of the different programs that we pull together and work together with to make something really amazing happen for our community. Yeah. So we've got those two food programs and one other program that's sponsored by Senior Hub with the City of Thornton is a, um, it's a customized shopping trip, really. They're calling it material aid. So if a senior in need doesn't have transportation, they, they have maybe mobility concerns, or they don't have social supports, Senior Hub will do the shopping for them. And they'll buy cleaning supplies, food, hygiene supplies, pet food, anything that the senior needs, they'll do these customized shopping trips at no cost to the senior. That's amazing. So how would someone connect with you or with our department to get that kind of help? We invite people to reach out to Community Connections. Our phone number is 720-977-5800. We can also be reached by email at connections at thorntonco.gov. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate the information. I'm sure all of our residents do as well. And that's it for another edition of Thornton Now.